What's next for BSP? It's a good question. We've got a little over, which is crazy to me, because I feel like we just moved here. We've got a little over two years left on this lease. And then I don't know, man. Like, it, it'll be, it will be. It depends on a lot of stuff. It depends on, I can't imagine where we're going to be in two years. I think it's part of it, even though, like, we do the visioning and I, and I have an idea of what I want it to be. More things come to light with time and I've always had a vision for things and, and my vision has always been exceeded. I'll say we've, we've at least met our vision at times where I think that the vision was too small. Um, and now like we have a pretty crazy big vision. The, the biggest question is I don't ever want to move again um, just because of how much it sucks to move. But I think the biggest thing is at some point, does it make sense to own a building? Because the biggest expense that you have is going into rent. So would it not make sense to take that pretty ridiculous amount of money that you're putting into something monthly that sure there's a return in terms of knowing the amazing people here at Merrick Properties will show up and take care of anything. But at the same time, man, what if you were putting that into uh, uh, equity? That would be ideal. Uh, I can't say that that's next in, in two years. We have a vision that's written through to the end of our lease and the vision literally ends by saying we've never been in a better place with a bigger business get better problems. Everyone always has problems. You think like you're going to get to a certain level and your problems go away. It's just that you get problems where it doesn't mean they don't suck, but you get to sit back sometimes and laugh at yourself and, and think other people would kill to have the problems that you have today. The way that our vision ends, the, the problem that we have today, the thing that keeps us up at night is with where we are at financially, our impact in, in the local community, what does make sense next? And, and we literally, we could not bring ourselves, and it's not that like when you write a vision, it has to be done, but we do want to have a vision that we feel like we're being honest to and that will, will drive us forward. And we couldn't bring ourselves to say, we're going to buy a building or we're going to extend our lease here or, or God, who knows, maybe it's that we open a second location, which our vision very clearly says still one gym, but you, ne you never know. I don't plan on opening a second location, but never say never. Time will tell. In the short, what's next for, for BSP is looking to expand the team, looking to eventually have a real front desk. And no one really knows that yet, but like a real front desk, you walk in and have a nice smiling face greeting you. And it's going to help us with a lot of the organizational and communication aspect of what we do. You talk about like looking at systems and streamlining right. them. It'd be a lot easier if we had someone that was more on the administrative side full time. So that's what's next that and hiring uh, at least at least two more coaches a much bigger team and a front desk <laughs> <laughs>